you've got an active uh, cut bank over here. Now we should also and start. Then you've got a point bar that formed over in here. So this is the deposit of, in this meandering section in here. We're just seeing if we can see the dye coming through the sea. So it might. It's going to break right through there and form a new channel to the ocean here pretty quick. Looks so much better about this stream table than the other tables. This sediment is lighter, and so two thirds of the density of the other meeting the old stream table you had. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's too loud. It was very familiar. Very, very nostalgic. <laughs> But this depends on better. So things happen. Down in the delta region, you can see then it forms these distributary channels that move back and forth across the delta. So it'll depart the deposit for a while here, and they'll switch over there and start depositing as it forms the delta. It's a bifurcating time. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Now you can see the green finally coming through down here. Actually. So it took that long. There's such a delay in time through the green water. The green water. The intergranular frost will make that below. And then the sands that you just keep washing off pretty easy. Yeah. Thank you for coming over. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate the invite. You saw the brownies. They were headed upstairs. But they wouldn't let us bring them in here directly. So some people go up and take them up to the main office. Yeah. Yeah. Alan, yeah. yeah. thank you, Alan. Welcome. Love it. The long one, Eva. Hey, you need to explain all the long one. Yeah, Welcome, thanks for coming. This is our stream table from Little River Designs. It's a, a hydrologist who decided to just give up his day job and start making stream tables. He felt passionately about it. So he's come up with, and this is actually number four in existence. There's another in Quebec, another in St. Uh, Louis. Louis, and oh, Minnesota. Yeah. And, Wyoming University. Yeah. This one was on display at Geological Society of America conference uh, last month. So a bunch of friends put it on Facebook. I think this is your stream table. But um, the great thing about this is that the sand on here is actually plastic. And see so if you can tell how many colors and sizes each color We're corresponds to the size. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and how's your sedimentology, Jeff? And actually, don't be afraid. You can get your yeah, hands Oh, yeah. There. In fact, That's you're actually, supposed to. Yeah. yeah this is, it's very hands-on. And when you've got sand on your hands, then just rinse them off down here, and then if you want to wash a little bit of food coloring that's left off as a sink. Or if you, you want, if you want to make a lake, you see, you just you yeah, need to yeah. scoop it out of the lake. Well, my limited chrom chromophores see about four times. How many yes, are there? Then your chromophores are doing just fine. Okay. Yeah. Grandpa. Keith. We've got um, the blacks and reds are the smallest. The red is very fine and sits on the bottom of the stream channel. And Eric was saying that seems counterintuitive, and I think it's it's partly because there's a little cohesion with the small particles. Yeah. Just like a clay would be in a river system. Yeah. You have, you've, you've got a, a, a drop off. So at high, at high velocity, you can move fine particles and coarse particles. But as the velocity drops, you're only going to move medium sized particles. And the cohesion of the small particles will allow them to clump together. Am I close on that sedimentology, Tom? I can make a little drain for our lake here. here. <laughs> Actually, go find out where Lisa's hiding our browns. Um, when I study the great salt lake, can you make a terminal one? Yeah. <laughs> and Randy's displaying how the trees we on the edge the protect um, the bank. Supposedly, yeah. And they edge. look like they're doing a pretty good job, right? Well, the, the, and then you notice that the, the, the riprap that engineers would put in here, that's why I can't wait to teach the 30 class again. But you're getting a lot of erosion around this, around this the lead rock. And if we turned the water velocity up quite a bit, we could actually wash that out pretty easily. <laughs> but the trees hold. The trees hold you know, yeah, the trees but you go to a river today, and Mother Nature puts trees on the banks of rivers, and the river is somewhat stable. And then we come in and put in rocks on the banks of rivers, and the houses all start falling in. So do, do these trees go down? Quite they go down about an inch and a half. I have both of them on my See? property. I have riprap and I have trees. <laughs> so I'm hoping the Colorado River won't destroy me. You're just covering all the bases, Bart. You're just trying to make sure that it's all I got, cool. a, I got a long rope that hangs from my house down to his house. <laughs> <laughs> you can save me when it happens. Yeah. Now, other things we can do, too, are raise and lower sea level. So this little pipe right here is... Drop it. We can go level. up and it can stop and start building up, or we can really bring it down. And what's fun is that it starts See, changing. The delta the immediately <laughs> start to build out into the. And it also cuts down, cutting down, cutting, down, 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 cutting down. going like crazy down here now. You know, the, the fluvial aspects of, of this table are great. And uh, 
know, we just see a lot of process going on. Kids can just sit here. And remember our old students did, we did lots of little experiments as an undergrad when I was an undergrad. So the food aspect is great, but this is really an aspect oh, look. that I'm excited about. Lost it, yeah, finally. Yeah. <laughs> just busted because through the riprap. This is active area research. We can, really we can raise sea level and lower sea level, and you know sea level is done yeah. after geologic pass. Yes. So when sea level is high, we build our delta up here. Mm -hmm. You can see the delta built out. Yeah. We drop sea level, and that delta, the, the river quickly. system is going to incise yeah. through that delta and start to build out here. So we can really do uh, sequence stratigraphic experiments with our, uh, with our stratigraphy courses. Absolutely. The students have already been in here. Every time we come down here, there's somebody in here doing it's building so something. Cool. And they always tell me, okay, we figured out the black and red with groundwater, we figured out this and this, so it's really, it's really fun. It's been great already. So yeah, look, at, uh, look at the concentrations of black and red down here over on this little mm -hmm. streams coming out of the groundwater. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. They're, they're finer particles, and they get carried through the underground system a little bit better. From a research end, is this all pretty well understood? Mm -hmm. So this is primarily yeah. for uh, classroom instruction? No, or? he's hoping that we'll do some research with it. And um, he would be happy to collaborate with us because it's just the beginning of, of this scale of a stream table system. So hopefully we can do that. Talked to a couple of students here who said, why, why don't you come up with some ideas for a master's thesis? I mean, even, I, even in the work that Jamie does on, on planets uh, like Titan, where they've got stream systems, she can maybe do some experiments on here that might simulate some of the features that they're seeing on, on a place like that. And Titan. actually, the sand on Titan is plastic. So yeah, we're already, it's, it's, it's already a direct analog. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. made of plastic. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, hydrocarbons. Yeah, that's a nice down to the atmosphere, and they make layers, and then it gets eroded. Uh, are the are the oh, small and red then? <laughs> 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 Absolutely. No. And then also he's built it so we can turn it on two axes. So we can do a little... Steepen it a little bit. Can you record an audio? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can make the... Other way. Other way. Uh, a little more. There you go. Get some real down. Oh, 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 Jeff, your house. Oh, oh no. Whoa. That's my house. That's Jeff's Bart's house. house. Oh, yeah. house is that close to the room. No, this yeah. one's your house. Do you want to hit it with diving? Looks kind of like... Uh, St. George. A couple of years ago, Santa Clara. Right? Santa Clara. Yeah. That's, yeah that's. Do you want to do a dye collection? Huh? Show the, show the, show so the this is a dye injection <laughs> system. To it, it, yeah. it, it'll, it allows you to see where the water's going. So in, in darker colors, you've got deeper water, uh, higher flow velocity out on the outside of the channel. And we can alternate it back and forth between, uh, and, and Little River highly recommends using blue and and green. They said if you use red, not, the lighter colors don't show up, and if you use red, it makes everything look like vomit, because it makes the yellow sand look brown, and it's a bad thing. We've avoided yeah, the red dye. So we have a, yeah, we don't have any red dye. And then you've got an outlet from the lake over here outlet. that's going down into the channel. Yeah, into the channel. Some things you can try if you want to see where the ground I have never seen a group of people keep their hands out of the sand as long like as you have. And sort of see that. <laughs> oh. And there's more, and probably we'll see more. I know. Oh. Hey, when they, when they put this in at Winona, the president of the college Slide came, the and he top. wouldn't talk to anybody for 20 minutes because he wanted to make a dam. Okay, so you want to get the hands dirty, huh? There you go, there you go. That's a dam. And now look, it's flowing out over into the lake much more vigorously. This goes a different hand in the ocean. This is way cool. We have this on Powell Creek. It's nice. Yeah. Half of the trees. It's taking them out now. What are these days? The rocks are already gone. Yeah, the rocks are gone. Yeah. Those for well, dams. Yeah. 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 You drain all the water out, and then you can Those section the delta. Yeah. 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 yeah, look at the groundwater coming yeah. in. Different layers too. But then you can also just do creating a new channel. Create there. your meanders with the stream. Usually, you have to seed a meander because it'll sort of tend to just do braided flow because there's no cohesion. But then once you seed the meander, it continues. Which I don't know. We understand why. <laughs> <laughs> this 
River systems in, in structurally complex areas, river systems tend to follow faults. Right. And if the fault we can actually can actually tip. So if the streams run in parallel with the fault, there's movement on the fault. Yeah. You can tip the table. Yeah. 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 So we can tip the table to the side now. I don't know if you noticed too, but when James took the table, sea level dropped. Relative, yeah, relative, relative side. sea level dropped. Well, that's another way you can change sea level. So students could do not only tectonic movement using the, the table angle, but also the sea level. And there's a band in the water. channel on the up slope side. So Jeff can move back into his house now. Yeah? You can fix the house over there. Floating down the river. Yeah, exactly. I'm surprised enough army bands don't already have some. I actually heard a comment yesterday from some students, and they said, oh, we just built something. I can't remember. And they said, well, was it with G.I. Joe's? So I kind of suspect there been. Yeah, there's going to be like Lego people and stuff. <laughs> The other nice feature about the system is that it can be reset up so quickly. The old sand uh, table that we had would take hours to shovel the sand out, get it back up on the table. They can have this down and up again. And we could we could start over in 15 minutes from right now. We could shovel, you know, drain sea level, right. shovel the sand back up, back up. Janie and I came in today at 10:30 and changed out all of the water in the system and reset the table in about 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Does it filter out the dye or do you have to No, no, that, that's no, why you change the, change the water out if it's too dark. If you have oh, students no, getting bottles of straight dye out of the cover and squeezing it in. There's some filter drain there that captures the no, sand. No, actually the sand in. all goes into this bucket. Oh. Oh. And then we shovel it back up on the table. Yeah, you, don't want to, you don't want to lose the sand because yeah, it, it turns out to be very expensive. Yeah. The, the, yeah, the what process. would you say the cost for everything that's in here right now would All be? All the sand on the table, and I think this one too, is $10,000. No, it's, it, this is $10,000. That was 3000 more. Yeah. So this is there's $13,000 with the ground up plastic. Because they have to shut down the factory, clean it out. So this is, this is ash trays. They can the plastic, grind those up to the right size. Yeah. Clean the yeah. factory out and start over for each the, the plates they use when you were in junior high for lunch or ashtrays and that, that kind of plastic boys. product, that's what it is. It's called melamine. And they take that melamine and they grind it up because it's non-recyclable. And they use it as an abrasive to strip paint off of cars and things like that. So Little River goes to the factory and the places that grind this stuff, they don't care what color it is because they're just going to use it to take the paint off a car door. So Little River goes to it and says, well, we want some of this stuff, but we just want yellow. And we want yellow to be this big. And then we want just white. We want it to be smaller. And then we want black smaller than that. So they shut down the whole factory. They clean the whole factory so that it's bare, run just yellow at 1.2 millimeters. And then they clean the factory again and run white at 1 millimeter. And that's why the plastic is so expensive. There's just this huge process to get it. If it was just ground all to the same size so that all four colors were the same diameter, you wouldn't see the different dynamics that the river does with it, the way it braids the streams with it, etc. And there's only four of these tables. And this is the fourth so one made. He's got another one under construction right now. Um, but uh, yeah, this is the fourth one. Now these little ones over here that they started making, the EM2, um, they sell those all over the place. And they've actually just designed a halfway step between that one and this one that he told me will be marketable to two-year two colleges and places like that. What is your intent with the smaller one, Randy, as far what, as use in the, what the program I, here? What I really want to see done with the small one is I want to see it leave the building. I want to see it. Because me and Janie, or any two students, could take the small table down. We've got the buckets. The sand goes back in. You shovel the sand into the buckets. You, the whole thing collapses down. It goes into the back of the truck. And we could take it to field camp. We can take it on 210. We can take it over to the Wilkinson Center and set it up during the career fair. We can take it to Orem Junior High School and set it up. We can take it to the, you know, so many places. And that, yeah, yeah. The, the place that we went to originally to, to view this, they have eight of those. Um, and they have two of them that are permanently on loan to the city council building and the public library in Winona, Minnesota. And they will get people who come from the library to the university to look at the big stream table because they've been played in the little stream table for the past three or four days. 
Yeah, we want to have an open house here. Anybody on campus will do Advertise it in the newspaper. So how much did this one cost? If you want for about a hundred. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, setup was about a hundred thousand. Yes. So we thought about it for Christmas. Been been filled filled more, whatever we advertise. <laughs> 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 Christmas, Christmas tree set up out of so this little thing. Yeah. It's got a fixed slope to it. Yes, it does. Yeah, that one's not not nearly as dynamic or versatile. Right. Yeah, and we, I mean, you know, we we went to went on the state thinking, well, maybe this will work, but you know, you get one or two meanders, and that's it. And there's just so much more capability with this. Not to mention putting a lot more students in. Sure. We can slow that. Bart wants to create some you know, transgressions here. The thing that sold here. me is, is uh, Toby, the the one who posted us in the state, said. You know, if I've had a bad day, I just come down here and I play at the stream table. And, <laughs> and 30 minutes later, I'm, I'm good to go. Yeah. Who's this? That's the problem. The Who's faculty at Winona State is who's in charge of this, this that room. That level, really and he says, important. you should see this place during finals week. It's just packed. Students, students are in there. They've just taken a final. It's time to, you know, they're, just, they're in here. Yeah, the other day I was in here and... Um, who's the young man who used to be a physics major that we indoctrinated him? Joel. Um, Joel yeah, Joel, and there was another student in here, and they had basically made goosenecks of the San Juan River right here. All the sand was up in this much room because the goosenecks were probably a foot high a piece as they were getting the water to run through them, and it was just fun. So there's this is precedent. side to side. There's, you know, hmm? there's a lot of precedent for this. My wife is this one does the, she yeah. has two sand and water tables. In really? Room. Which way takes it? Come. Yeah, going more You're going deep. steep. You're going steep. Yeah. There you go. There you go. It's there. You, 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 you don't know, put that the of your students out here. Yeah. And watch them wash away in the river. <laughs> That's what teachers are doing today. So from a scientific view, then, what Bart's just done is raise sea level. So now we're going to start depositing sediment again up here, and it'll onlap all the way down over the top of this existing delta. So Toby did this, where they put a nice little layer of sand out there, raised sea level, they put another sheet of sand out on top of that, um, raised sea level again, it puts another sheet of sand. Then they drained the, all the water out of the table and you can take these orange buckets and they cross section through the delta and you could see these, you know, onlapping beds coming down as the sand, you know, worked its way across the, the face. It was really cool. He said they were in class one day and, and their setup's a little different. They're, well, actually, no, they're, the class that he teaches in is right there and the stream table is in a lab right next door, and they were talking about